Hi dancers, I'm Jojo from Ballet with Jojo and Adult Ballet Collective and today I thought I would do a what's in my bag video even though I am in lockdown and currently not going to class. I thought it would be fun to do one anyway so I've packed it as if I'm going to class. Firstly, just check out my cute lockdown socks. They were a gift from a friend for Christmas last year. They've got donuts on them which is adorable. Um, if anyone wants to know, I'm also wearing a wrap from Repetto Paris which is from Ballet Emporium, another gift from another lovely friend and wearing my Claudia Dean mid-crop in black with the cute logo in the front. And my go-to leggings are from Lululemon and they're the Aligns. I have about five pairs of these. Not the leggings, but I've got them in various lengths in bike shorts and leggings because they're just absolutely amazing. Anyway, let's get back to the what's in my bag. So, I've got the Gaynor Minden Studio bag in grey. Now, I actually got this bag about two years ago, and I got it because I was starting to do assistant teaching at my dance school. So, I needed to bring ballet shoes, tap shoes, jazz shoes, and point shoes because I would start the day assistant teaching. Then from about 12.30, I would work administration. And then I had my own dance classes at about eight o'clock at night. So it was pretty much like 12 hour days, super tiring, but really fun as well. So I just needed to be able to bring everything with me. Um, and this bag is so, so great for that. What I love about this bag as well is, you might not know, but I'm four foot 11, so I'm really short. So bags usually look massive on me, but I feel like this bag doesn't look too big, yet it holds so much stuff. So that's really awesome. And also because you're carrying so much stuff, it's nice having a backpack instead of a shoulder bag, because then you could like hurt your back. Anyway, so let's get into it. Firstly, I just wanna show you some of the cute charms I have on my bag. So I've got a very cute little block booty here. It's super tiny, super cute. And I've also got it on with my Claudia Dean charm in rose gold, which is just beautiful. And on this side, I've got a block point shoe as well. So we'll just start with the front. And I keep my laptop charger in here. And just, and that's it basically. Just a laptop charger when I feel like I need to bring it, uh, which is not all the time, but that's usually empty because I don't like to put stuff in there, I don't know why. Um, I keep these pockets on the side empty. Again, I don't like putting stuff in there because I feel like it might be able to fall out. But what I love is this pocket on the back, like a little secret pocket. And I keep in here sunglasses, AirPods, uh, what's this? Oh, card holder. And I think that's it. Sometimes I keep my keys in there as well, obviously, if I'm leaving the house which I'm currently not. Okay, so we'll get into the main compartment of this bag. So yeah, there's a little clip to keep that together. You can open it. I love how this bag opens. If you've watched reviews on this bag before, um, it's pretty amazing. So it opens like that. I think it's like a doctor's bag, so you can really get in there. Um, and you can see there's quite a bit of stuff in there for us to get through. So firstly, laptop. Take that out. And I always have my notebook, which is also like a, it's like a daily planner, diary type thing. It's from An Organized Life, I love it. And I have the matching pen because I'm lame like that. But I just love things that match. But those two are the only things in this back section. One thing I love about this bag is the fact that it's got this pocket at the back because it means that I don't have to put my laptop in a case. Um, there's obviously a zip pocket up here as well with a shallow pocket there, which I just keep ladies items in. Um, okay, so next in one of the side pockets, water bottle. I love this water bottle. It's from Frank Green. Um, I love that it's so wide, like it's got a wide neck, which means you can actually use one of those dish sponges and you can get all the way in so you can properly clean your water bottle, guys. Um, the lid's the same lid that you can get on their little cup, so it's just like a push button. I don't love that because sometimes it gets stuck and I'm thinking of getting, my husband has the one with the straw, so you can get like a different lid for the same bottle, which is cool. Um, and obviously I have my initials on there because again, I'm really lame like that and we'll pay extra for all those extra things. Okay, um, we'll reach onto the pocket on the other side now 
And in here I have my tap shoes. Usually if I have my tap shoes, which I don't have now, I will have a pair of fun socks. So it might be knees. Um, but yeah, these are just from Block. I think they're called the Show Tapper or something like that. But yeah, just super cute, very normal tap shoes. Um, I do love them. I take beginner tap at the moment. Well, when it's not COVID, I normally do beginner tap, but yeah, it's a lot of fun and I really enjoy it. All right, we'll do, there's two front pockets here. So we'll do that now. In that pocket I have, so in one pocket I have these two pairs of ballet flats. These are the MDM Intrinsic Profile 2.0s, which I love, they've been worn to death. And I also have the block performer in the sand color. I bring two flats because it depends on what I feel like. It also depends on what I'm wearing. If I'm wearing ballet tights, then I'll wear these to match my ballet tights because I also have MDM tights. I really like how thick they are. If I'm not wearing tights and I'm just wearing like leggings or shorts to ballet, to ballet I'll just wear my performer flats because then my lines will look really nice. Okay. And in the other front pocket, I have, oh, these are my Repetto toe pads, so I love these. And of course, my point shoes, and these are the Merlet Chloe's. They are getting towards the end of their day, so a little bit soft now. Um, but I absolutely love these shoes, and I love doing the stretch loop ribbon as well, which I've done a video on how to, so if you're interested in that too. So point shoes, done. And now we're just in the middle section, which is kind of a free-for-all at the moment. So I have my TheraBands. So I've got two. I just put them both in my Claudia, little Claudia Dean TheraBand pouch. So I've got the Claudia Dean TheraBand, which is excellent and I use a lot. It's a really great length. Um, not too long, not too short, pretty standard. But recently I also got um, my TheraBand to do my PBT teacher training course, which needs to be three meters long. So. This is an extra, extra long TheraBand, um, and it's from PVT as well, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So I bring both, because you never know when you need a TheraBand. Um, I've got some spray rosin from Block, because the floor at my studio is really slippery, and these don't have um, a suede patch on the tips, so I just usually spray them with a bit of rosin, or use some rosin at the studio. Oh, I've got, this is my patella tracking band. I know, it's sexy, isn't it? So it goes on my knee when my knee's a bit sore. Um, if you follow me, you might know that I've had torn cartilage in both my knees. My right one sometimes just randomly hurts, so I have that. <laughs> and I have, oh, leg warmers. It's been really cold lately when we were at the studio, even before COVID, so I've been bringing leg warmers to class. Um, yeah, just for some extra warmth around the ankles and just for extra support. I think as an adult dancer, it's really important to listen to your body. So yeah, leg warmers. I think they're just from Block. They're just like the black knit ones. I like when they've got the hole there for your heel to get through. Um, okay, and then the last thing. Oh no, there's two last things. I'll do this one first. Little massage ball that's just rolling around in the bag. Um, I use this for everything. <laughs> It is excellent and it is basically my best friend. Okay, and the last thing, I'm pretty sure this is well empty, so I'm just gonna pop that down. So the last thing is this little pouch. This is like my emergency pouch. I got this from a friend, actually same friend that gifted me this. I know she has exquisite taste. Um, it's from Ainsley Wear and it's a print of the Nutcracker. And I also have the Ainsley Wear Nutcracker leotard with the print on the back. So it's really nice having a little matching matching set. I think I also have the shoe bag of it, which is pretty cool. But in this, this is my emergency pouch that lives in the bag basically. So I never take this out. I have strapping tape. So this is the stretchy kind. Um, I had this, I, well, I bought this when I did my ankle, but I guess it's, I can use it on my knee or anything that hurts. Or if anyone needs anything, I've got it. <laughs> I've got powder. This is a Chanel powder. Or it's a healthy glow sheer powder. It's really beautiful. I like this, not just because it's powder, but because it's got a little brush with it. I don't like putting powder on with a sponge. I don't know if that's weird. Anyway, so I keep this in my bag permanently because this is not part of my normal beauty routine. It's only if I'm at the studio for like 12 hours and I feel like I'm getting really shiny. So I've always got some powder. Physio Cream, my other best friend. These two go so well together. Um, I like to carry a little little bottle with me 
tube with me and I also have some bigger ones in my closet and just in various places around my home. Um, I also have band-aids, several band-aids, quite a few band-aids. So you never know when you need band-aids or when someone else might need band-aids. Lip balm, my favourite drunk elephant lip balm. I have a few of these also lying around. Um, it's just my favourite lip balm basically ever. I love how cute the packaging is but I also like how big it is so you can just really really get in there so this this one lives in my dance bag um, I've got hand sanitizer this is by Sukin I love a good spray set hand sanitizer the scent is green tea and mint so it doesn't smell like you know super alcoholic or super fake or anything like that so it's quite a pleasant hand sanitizer and I have oh yes I have this um they call it soluble tablets magnesium tablets these are really great for long days if you're feeling pretty crampy um, like if your calves are cramping or anything like that again lives in my bag I have some more of these like just in my pantry and stuff but this is basically for emergencies and lastly I have my gua sha so this is to massage your feet well I mean it's traditionally to massage your face I'm pretty sure but I use it to massage my feet if my feet are feeling sore or even um, my calves or just the front of my shins because I actually get a lot of tightness in this area here so I might put some physio cream on it and just use that I think it's supposed to be rose quartz or something like that but yeah cool so that is basically what's in my bag when I take it to the studio. Um, oh, normally I will have some snacks in there. Now, I sometimes get asked what I eat for snacks and to be honest, it's just whatever I feel like on the day or whatever I have in the pantry. Um, before the lockdown, I was bringing two minute noodles <laughs> to the studio, like in the cups, so I could just boil water and pour it in and have like a hot meal um, because we are quite limited in what you can get past four o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, it's basically Subway or Thai in our area. So yeah, so I've been bringing two minute noodles. That's been good because that saved me some money as well. Um, I'm not going out and buying stuff to eat all the time. Um, but yeah, I also like to bring, you know, muesli bars, protein bars. I'll never say no to some chocolate, so it just depends. Um, obviously healthy snacks too, like nuts or berries. Um, during summer I like to make uh, little berry fruit salads, so like I'll cut up strawberries and I'll get blueberries and blackberries and raspberries and kind of mix it all together and um, just take a little bit to work each day. Um, but since they're not in season, I haven't been doing that. So it just really depends on what I'm feeling like, guys. So that's the type of person that I am. I will just I don't like eating something that I'm not interested in because I'm a very food orientated person so yeah those are my snack tips I guess <laughs> um, but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed that impromptu video um, clearly I didn't prepare for it that much but if there's any other content you'd like me to film or any questions that you have feel free to ask me in the comments below or just send me um, a message in my DMs they're always open to the community See you later, bye!